do research all the time. Every patient that I see, I try to get an outcome score and have the patient complete an outcome score on follow-up. And this is some of the results of that. So we looked at a long-term analysis of minimally invasive spinal fusion to see if it was actually helping our patients. This is over almost a seven-year period of time. And we're going to focus on what's called a minimally invasive transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion. And all of you will know what that is once we're done. So this is one of the most common conditions that we treat. It's called spondylolisthesis, where there's a little slip of one vertebrae on the other, primarily seen at the L4-5 level. This results can result in severe stenosis. So there's two problems here. There's, there's a stenosis, which means the nerves are pinched, and there's a slip, which means that there's some kind of instability. And what we see in that slip many times is that the, the facets or the joints get very big, and that's what's causing the problem. And here's our solution. Here's a stenosis with a spondylolisthesis or a slip. We do a minimally invasive laminectomy to take the pressure off the nerves. And then we fuse those two vertebrae so the stability or it doesn't move as much so that we don't have the problem recur. So 318 patients averaged about 60 years old. But you can see from teenagers, 19, all the way up to 94-year-olds, most with spondylolisthesis, some with degenerative disc disease, which means the disc is collapsed. And then we measured these outcome scores to look at them. And these are just a few of the patients. I don't think you need to listen to what these patients are saying. You just need to see their faces and know that these are very happy patients. Many of these patients have had back pain for 10 years, 20 years. We're scared to death to have surgery because they heard of nightmares and they saw colleagues and maybe family members that didn't have good results. And all these patients had really you know, excellent results back to their activities of normal daily living, many of them with complete resolution of back pain. And you know, for the funky looking x-ray, the patient with degenerative dextroscoliosis, you know, why does this patient have such a good outcome? This patient went back to work full time. Uh, she didn't retire um, and is very happy with the results of her surgery simply because we understood what was causing her problems and gave her focused care. Mm -hmm.